This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back. This is uh, part one of a two-part uh, video on how to model a Winchester rifle dated 1873. Okay, This is going to be a full workflow tutorial. So a uh, low poly model, high poly model, baking, texturing, everything. Okay, so let's jump in. Here we go. Okay guys, well here we go. So uh, the idea here is to do a, a low poly of this uh, 1873 uh, Winchester rifle. Uh, I'm typically not into very low poly models, but I'll uh, do my best and we'll do the full uh, process. So we'll do a, a low poly, we'll do a high poly, we'll do a normal bake, uh, texturing the whole nine yards. Okay, so that said, let's get started. I'm going to start with uh, th this section right here. So I'm going to go to polygons and uh, let's see. I'm going to take a polygon um, pipe. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hit E to rotate, hold down J to snap it, R to stretch it out, W to move forward. And like I said, as I typically don't really do a lot of low poly, I'm going to open up the attribute editor and I'm just going to tweak this to a point where it's low poly enough, but it doesn't look completely horrible. So let's see. I think the absolute minimum would be 10 if we want to do a really low poly here. But let's go with, uh, we'll do 12, okay? All right, and we're going to put that in position. Let's move this out of the way. We're going to hit W to move that up. R to scale it down. F to zoom in. Let's see here. Okay, we're going to bring that up. That looks a little bit better. W to move it over to about there. We're going to right click at our vertex, drags like these, and we're going to bring that into about there. And then we're going to go to object mode, hit Control D to duplicate, W to move upward. You can see that this one is starting a little bit further over here. And we're going to right click go to vertex again, drags like that, and bring that out to about there. And again, I have to zoom in. Okay, now because we want this to be a low poly model, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this reference, push that back for a minute. Okay, we're going to remove faces that we're not using. So we're going to remove that, and in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to remove that as well. And hang on, we'll just take this guy, I have to zoom in. Right click face, delete and delete. And then we're going to go into the front here. And what we'll do is we'll take these two and we'll go to uh, mesh and uh, combine. And then we'll right click at our edge, double click on that edge, and double click on that edge. Control E to extrude and W to push back, depending on how far you want that. You don't have to, but you know we'll do something like so, all right? Now, these are obviously uh, not very smooth, so we're gonna go to object mode, select it, and let's see, we're in modeling, and I just need to look something up here. Just give me one sec. I think it's uh, here, yeah, we're gonna, soften those edges okay <clears throat> so we haven't added anything you can see that that front looks a bit rough there so uh, let's undo that and what we're going to do is we're going to go to edges and we're going to select these and then we're going to go to soften edge much much better okay i'm good with that all right next part we're going to take this uh, wood section here so for that we're going to take a, a polygon cube 
let's bring that in to about where it starts which is right there we're gonna go to vertex and we're gonna bring that up to our starting point then we're gonna select that we're gonna bring that over here I'm going to select the bottom one, bring that down here. That should be about good. That looks all right. Then we're going to go in and we are going to hit R to push that in. Obviously, we don't have a reference image for our top view. We're going to leave some flesh on it, if you know what I mean. So we can uh, bring up that wood and let's see if we have to cut that in or not we don't necessarily have to not for our low poly anyway but we want the um, under section to be somewhat rounded and we don't really need this face here so we're gonna delete that one we're gonna go to uh, let's see enter edge loop option box multiple and uh, let's see I'll do three and again you know I'm uh, struggling with the low poly bit because I typically don't do that but yeah this is what we're gonna do okay we're gonna queue on our keyboard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that edge and take that edge actually let's take all of these and hit W we're gonna bring that down just a bit and then we'll take that one in the middle. Like so. All right. And we're going to have a look at the side here. We don't want it to be in a way that we can look straight through it. So we're going to hit four for wireframe mode. And I want to raise those two edges on the side there a little bit. Just slightly okay so we got that part then let's look at the um, the main body here of the main section if you will and again we'll take a polygon cube we'll jump into this view we'll hit five for shaded mode so let's see what's going on we're gonna bring this guy in and we'll have to adjust that in a second because this guy seems to be cutting in. Four for wireframe mode. Right click vertex. Take these vertices and bring that back. Hit five for shaded mode. Go into our x ray mode. Hopefully, you guys can see that okay. All right. I'm going to right click the vertex, take these vertices. Let's bring them out to about there. And then I'm going to jump in, go to face, control E to extrude, W to pull out. And let's pull that to about there. And then we're going to go to vertex, take that one put that one there and let's see yeah we'll put one there okay then we're gonna go to insert edge loop single setting and let's do one there one there And Q on a keyboard, we're going to get a vertex and we're going to move these guys okay. And I'm going to take these
Okay, that seems to be right. Let's have a look. I'm gonna right click the object mode. Looks like I moved it a little bit. We don't want that. I'm gonna bring that in. I'm just gonna check the thickness from the top. I have to zoom in. So we want that to be just slightly more, okay. So that seems to be okay. Now we want to kind of uh, smooth those edges a little bit. So I'm gonna take that. That one we need to leave in because we're gonna see that one. And I'm gonna go to edge and what I'm gonna do is go in and take these edges and I want them from both sides and we're gonna go to soften edge just looking to see if I like it not really no so we're gonna do that differently what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit mesh and uh, bevel okay now let's see we'll do 0 0.1 on a fraction to start with and that will not cut it so let's do 0 0.3 which is already a bit better and then we'll do three on the segments okay so that's not crazy high poly or anything but it gives it a little bit more shape all right then we're going to go to this back section here so again we're going to jump to this view we're going to take a new polygon cube Hit W, move it back. I have to zoom in. Okay, I want that to be aligned. So I'm gonna, come on, go to, come on, vertex, yep. We're gonna put that in. I'll hit four for wireframe mode so I can see where I'm at. I'll even go with five so I can see for sure where I'm at. Okay, then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna move that to about there. That one to about there. I'm gonna zoom in, take that face, control E to extrude, W to pull out. Looks like I got something selected that I don't want. There we go. Come on. Let's try that again. Control E to extrude, W to pull out. That's better. Okay. So now that we have that, we can move this guy down here, like so. And we'll go to insert edge loop. We'll do one here, Q on a keyboard. We're gonna go to vertex. Hit W, we're gonna move that up here. We're gonna move this one up here. And then let's go in, insert edge loop. Now let's do three maximum. Three right there. I'm gonna Q on a keyboard. I'm gonna turn back on my X-ray. Right click at a vertex, hit W, and I'm just gonna start to bring this in. All right. So again, we got that. We're gonna right click at our object mode. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in. I have to zoom in, do that a little bit more. Now, that is quite important that that looks a little bit smooth. So I'm gonna right click at an edge. And let's see, I'm gonna take these edges. And actually I don't want the end here. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm gonna hit R. 
I'm very, very slightly going to pull that out. And I'm just going to take the one in the middle and pull that out some more. So we'll get that shape here. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a quick check on my overall poly count here for a sec. And we're going to go to uh, display, heads up display, and poly count. And it's 249. So it's not bad at all, but we still have some detailing to do. And uh, let's see if we can make this sky look a little bit smoother. So we're going to go to edges. And I'm going to take these edges, so not the ends. And let's go to soften edges. That shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. I'm just wondering whether a bevel would be better. I'm not looking, I'm not liking that texture the way it looks. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to that edge, that edge, that one, and that one. like I got all of them. I'm going to go to edit mesh and bevel. Let's do 0 0.3. Why is that not responding? I'm not quite sure. Hang on guys. That's better. And we're going to do 0 0.3. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll do uh, three, uh, maybe two, maybe two segments. Okay. So we got all that. Let's uh, get some detail in. Um, we'll start at this end. We've got this thing going on there. So what we're going to do there is uh, let's see, the quickest way to do that would be to take a uh, polygon pipe, E to rotate, hold down J to snap it, W to move it forward, and then I'm just going to go in and right click at a face, select those faces, select those faces, come on. And those faces so I basically get this right okay I'm in object mode I'm gonna go in here I have to zoom in I'm gonna push this into place hit R to scale it in but the whole thing is gonna come down as well so let's do that first W to move up scale it down some more that's pretty close and from here we're gonna have to zoom in we're gonna have a look okay so we need to adjust that okay so we need to bring that in a bit so let's uh, have a look from this view here after zoom in four for wireframe mode so we can see what's going on we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale this in and hit W to bring it down just a little bit. We're gonna hit R and try to scale it in a little bit from this view. And uh, looks like we're doing okay up until here. And then we're gonna go to vertex and we're gonna take these vertices, bring them in. And then we're gonna take these and bring that one in like so. Okay, we can take the top and the bottom one if you like. Let's try that again. All right, so I'm happy with that. We need to give this some body. So we're gonna go to object mode. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.01. 
which is uh, enough. And if we want to have that little thing on top there, that Pfizer thingy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and take these faces, these two, Control E to extrude, W to pull up, and R to skill in. And we'll just have a look and see how high that thing is. So I have to zoom in um, a little bit more. And then we can right click at our vertex, take these and actually pull that up a little if you like. Okay. So that thing uh, looks okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, good. All right, so we got that. So we're gonna take this guy. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. W to move that over. Actually, I'm not quite sure if, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take a new one. Get a new pipe. W to move it over. E to rotate, hold on J. W to move up. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Let's have a look. It'll be about there. So let's uh, gut the insides. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna get a face, delete those, delete those and those. Take this guy Hit R to scale that down until we roughly have the appropriate height. Hit R and scale it in like so. So that's basically what we want. Now we need this guy to fit as before. Bottom seems to be okay. Let's see if we can do that from here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to object mode and I'm gonna hit Control H to hide that and control H to hide that. So hopefully that will help us to get a better view. And this is where we're at. We want it to align with that bottom right there. So I'm gonna start to, oh, wrong handle, that's right. Start to scale that in. Right click at our vertex. So I want these to on vertex and W bring them up so we got a pretty tight fit here which is good uh, let's see we'll take all of these and W bring them down to about there and then we're gonna take these hit R and we're basically just gonna start to bring them in. We're gonna have to do that manually anyway, but it will be a good start. Let's see how that turned out with our actual guy here. Looks like we needed to be lower than that. Um, I was looking at the wrong line, looks like. So we're gonna take these. I think that should be better. All right. So now that we have that, we're gonna select it. And let's make sure from this view, they are still good. Go to vertex. All right. We're gonna select this guy. Control E to extrude. So 0.01. Give it some thickness. 
and then we're gonna right click at an edge and drag select these edges and go to soften edge okay makes it look a little bit better okay let's see if we can get this into a slightly tighter fit although it's not bad I'm just gonna have a look at the top here okay so this right here that's our actual barrel okay so we can take this get a vertex and let's see we'll take these and W and kind of bring that in and then we'll take these Yeah, that's a bit better. All right. And again, keep in mind, it's a low poly. So, okay, then we uh, will move on to, let's see what we've got going on there. Not a lot of detail for this section here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take a uh, polygon cube. Let W, we'll push that up and push that in. Let's see if we can get into the right position. We'll hit W, move it over. R to, oops, R to scale in. Excuse me. All right, then we're gonna bring that down. I'm gonna hit four for wireframe mode. That doesn't really help. Let's do five for shaded. Okay, so this is where I'm at, basically. I have to zoom in. I'm gonna hit R. And like I said, as I don't really have a lot of um, reference here, um, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna bring this down a little. We're gonna right click at our vertex. Let's bring that down as well. And we will call that good. Okay, once again, low poly. All right, so we're gonna go back to mesh and uh, where is it? No, display and show all. And there you go. Okay, uh, almost there. We got this guy on top, this section down here, and we've got a little detail on the side. Uh, so let's look at that thing down there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cube and this will probably be the biggest impact as far as um, poly count is concerned. Just wondering whether there's a way to do it with a little bit less, um, I guess we're gonna have to do it like this, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, uh, after zoom in, we're gonna hit R to scale in like so, W to move down, and I'm gonna hit right click vertex, bring that up there and just thinking, yeah, I'll have to put an edge in later, but that's okay because I need some roundness, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this. That's gonna be my starting point, all right? So I'm gonna have to zoom in right click face, control E to extrude, and W to push down, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna hit E to, actually let's do that with the face here. I thought I did that, but yeah, that should work. And it does, good, okay. G to repeat last command, W to pull out. And again, E to rotate and R to scale down somewhat. Actually not scale down. G again, pull that out. 
E to rotate somewhat. G to repeat, W to pull out, F to zoom in, E, oops, back back, E, come on, why is it not rotating, oh there you go, okay so we've got that, G to repeat, W to pull out, to uh, let's say there, and again, we're going to rotate that. And then W and kind of move that in like so. G to repeat. W to push up. And again, we can adjust that. G to repeat. And w to pull up. And we'll basically put that up here. I'm going to move that in like so. Okay. So we got that. I'm not going to put in all of this detail. Actually, I'm not going to say that too soon. What we're going to do first is we're going to take this, hit R, and come on. This handle right here which looks okay. And then what we need to do is come out from this section right here. So that would be this one. Control E, we're gonna hit W to move that out like so. Okay, and we need to um, bring this in a little bit and hit W and kind of move that over here. Okay. G to repeat, W to pull out. Let's go all the way here. G to repeat, W to push out. And now we're going to rotate that a little bit so we can maintain that direction. G to repeat, W to pull out, and again, rotate. G to repeat, W to pull out. And rotate, rotate, rotate. G to repeat, and W to pull out, to about there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna match that up. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go to Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, Single Setting. We're gonna put in an edge loop right there. Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click at a face, select that face and delete it. Select that face and delete it. Right click at an edge. Double click on that edge all the way around. That one as well. And go to Edit Mesh and Bridge option box. I want a smooth pass, path and curve. Uh, I want it to be automatic. I only want a limited number of subdivisions. So let's do three and let's hit Bridge. Okay, obviously something went horribly wrong right there. So let's uh, hit Control Z to go back. Not quite sure what the problem is there unless I selected edges that I shouldn't have. I didn't think I did do anything wrong, but let's try that again. Option box, I'm gonna go to edit and reset settings. Okay. Um, Actually, let's leave this at a linear path and set subdivisions to three. And there's a twist going on there. That is what I saw just now. I'm not sure why. I didn't believe I had any twist selected. And I know that there's a value in here where you can do that. 
I'm just going to reset that again. Set that to three, and then I'll go into the attribute editor. Uh, here's my twist. Okay, bridge offset. The reason why this is happening, guys, and it's kind of a learning experience, is starting from here, the face that we worked with flipped all the way around, so it's facing an opposite direction. And to do a correct bridge, um, it has to be upside down, okay? So that's what we got. Uh, we've got that little section up here that we can still do. So hit Q on a keyboard. Let's put in uh, an edge here. Let's see where that thing is at. It's fairly high up, so I'll put one here. Q on a keyboard, right click face, Control E to extrude, and W to pull out. I have to zoom in. Uh, we'll basically go somewhere around here, hit R to scale that in, and kind of do something like that. All right. So that seems to be okay. Uh, we probably want to smooth this a little if we can. Um, let's see how that looks if we do that. Not too bad. Yeah, can live with that. Good. And then the last section, actually one little detail here on the side, but the last, sec last section is that thing on top, okay? So we're gonna take another polygon cube we're going to pull that up. Okay, let's uh, move that into position. Four for wireframe mode. I'm going to right click and go to vertex. Take that and push that up here. Take that, do that down here. That seems to be about right. I have to zoom in. This thing is way too thick, obviously. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that way, way in. And then we're gonna right click at a face. Control E to extrude, W to pull up. And that's not the one we wanted. So we need the one at the top there. That one. Control E, W to move up like so. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna bring that in. G to repeat, W to move up. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, so I'm just gonna do this. G to repeat and W to pull up. And again, R to scale in a bit. And one more time, G to repeat and W to pull up. Okay. So that is basically it. Let's see if we can do one little detail here for this guy. What we'll do there is we'll take a polygon cube. We'll pull that out. Hit R, stretch it out like so. And I'm just gonna do a quick check on my poly count here. 550, nice, okay. So um, let's see, we're gonna go into insert edge loop option box. This will add a few. Let's do multiple, we'll do three. Come on. Hit Q on a keyboard, then we're gonna Do one, like so, okay? Q on a keyboard, we're gonna select these faces. Control E to extrude, W to pull out, like so. 
then we're gonna select the whole object we're gonna hit R we're gonna push that way way in I don't need the back faces it looks like something was not up to par anyway down there so I'm not sure what the problem is there Just going back a little step here. We don't really need these faces. I'm just going to delete those. Anything you don't need at this point that you know will help you to decrease your face count, you just get rid of it. All right, so then we're going to go in and we're going to right click our vertex. So we're going to drag, select these vertices, a W, kind of move that like so. And then we'll take that middle set and do that. Okay. We're going to go to object mode. And I'm in four for wireframes, so we can see where it's at roughly. We're going to scale that down. Go to vertex, take these, hit W, bring that in like so. Have to zoom in. We're gonna right click on object mode and push that thing in. Have to zoom in, let's see. Okay, and then we can go in to soften the edges if you like. Let's bring that out a little. Okay, so this is our uh, low poly uh, Winchester and in uh, part two we are going to uh, take the sky into a uh, Munbox and uh, tweak it a little bit. Okay, see you there.